yesterday I picked up three more generators from Odessa and brought them back to Mikolayov. I had um, a slightly unpleasant Christmas present this morning. I believe someone wanted a feature on potholes. Well, I'll see your potholes in Kent and raise you a few from here in Mikolova. Even though it's the Russian Orthodox Christmas Day today, And thanks to Yegor, we're fixed and ready to go. Not that there's anywhere much to go today, but uh, I thought I'd have a look, another look at the Christmas tree in the centre of Mikolayev and see if there's anything going on there. I'm back in the main square in uh, Mikolayev and I'm back at the sort of Christmas tree. And I can't help wondering what the significance of all the things that people are tying to it are. Nobody seems to be able to tell me that, but uh, some of them are obviously just very sweet, some probably more traditional. And of course, being in the middle of a war, there's also things which are far more to do with the military as well. And I just found some breakfast. One of these is <coughs> some sort of thing with potato and the other one is cabbage, but they're both very nice. But if you know me, you know what the most important thing was. Coffee. Happy Christmas, or belated, or whatever. I'm back in my hotel after a quick tour around Mikolayev um, on the Orthodox Christmas Day. I've tried to show you how life goes on despite everything here. One of the things I haven't really shown you is that so many businesses are closed down. A lot of the smaller businesses could not survive. Um, either the owners went bankrupt because so many of their customers fled when the Russians took over or the owners themselves were forced to flee when the Russians invaded. Many of the bigger businesses, the chain stores, they are mostly still going, though there are exceptions. The tiny little market stalls or the people selling goods on the streets, they're still going. It tends to be the smaller to medium sized businesses where probably half of them at least are no longer in business. That is just one more price that the Ukrainians are paying for Russia's aggression. And it is one more price that the Russians must be made to pay and compensate for what they have done in their attempted genocide of the Ukrainian people.